Let's, let's get this thing going. Look at this, game weed, we got the fresh grass. Let's go. All right, let's work our feet, get ourselves going. You wear cleats like that, you better have sweet feet. You gonna take that fine? You gonna wear that fine? Have your agent pay it? Two. <laughs> that may be like a 20 spot. That may be heavier than you want. Here we go. We're going to the right spot, we just gotta make plays. It is caught by Kirk! Let's go! Let's go! If he holds you though, like, I'm gonna put it on your body. I still hate you. It's all good. You know, to go somewhere and, uh, you know, kind of change the culture and do something special, you know, always be remembered, uh, that's kind of what I'm into. Way to fight. I talked all year long about how important it was for uh, Kyler to improve upon not taking as many negative plays. And I think that was where we improved most when you're talking about his play. But here's a play earlier on in the season versus the Seahawks. Have a drive, plus 33 yard line, it's first and 10. I call a bad play right here. Play's covered, it's over. Instead of throwing it away, being in second and 10, we end up taking about a 12 yard sack now you're out of field goal range. Now you're in second and 22, uh, and that's tough sledding. Situation where if you're Kyler Murray, you got to throw the ball away. It's just taking Kyler Murray by surprise how fast these big men are in the National Football League. Would you agree with that, yeah. David? About the first month, we were all learning together how to operate, what we could be as an offense, and it took some time. And Kyler just grew and grew. The first day he was here in the facility, he was the starting quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals. Took every rep with the first team. I mean, it, it was thrust upon him, and, and he just had to try and keep up, really. Uh, I, I believe that's harder than most people could, could really imagine. That's a lot to take on. Oh, no, you're nice, like you. You're so nice, like Oh, you want to bet on this next one? Two. That's ten push-ups. Get out. Let's go. Can you imagine some college trying to make a tackle? I used to rock. Stop playing with me. I used to rock. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Cutting I showed you. I showed you. I showed you my clip, did I not? Coming downhill, cutting people. I'll show you, I'll show you my clip. I'll show you my clip. Come on, bro. I'm not on that. I'm fing head to head collision smoke. I just can't see it. Big smoke. How would you describe your feelings just days before your first game? Uh, I'm, I'm chilling. You know, the energy's been different, but uh, for us, you know, it, it's been the same. No little that. nervousness? No little... I'm not nervous right now, no. Anxiety, like anxiousness, not anxiety, but anxiousness. No, not right now. Maybe, maybe Saturday night. I've heard it, it's, I've heard it, uh, you know, kind of ramps up, you know, once the real, real thing gets going, and this is, this is the real thing. So, um, I'm excited to see, but at the same time, I mean, I know, I know what speed we'll be going with, and I know how it, you know, tends to work out, so. And so it begins. A new era of Arizona Cardinals football. Welcome to State Farm Stadium. The Cardinals start the 2019 season against the Detroit Lions. Hey! Mo, it's Kyler Murray. Since he's been five years old, like the day has finally come. Like it's finally here today. I can't say much more than that. I'm just happy through him. I mean, dad is probably more excited about the football aspect of it, but um, I'm happy for my son and that just makes my heart Warm. I mean, it's football time, and I play the game through him. You know, see what he sees, just looking for clues. Now it's about execution, it's about performance. Um, every time he plays, I feel a certain way. I tense up, I'm ready to go. I trust what he'll do, what he has done. It'll translate, and I'm excited to watch him play. And he knows all, all I want to do is see him walk off the field at the end of the game. That's it. Win or lose, I just need him to be healthy. And obviously, if it's a W, he's going to be super excited. So um, just looking forward to get started.
Kingsbury says, wait till week one. Oh, I can't wait to see week one. It's so boring watching all this basketball on grass. It's pretty boy football. It, it don't allow the defense to play physical like the game was meant to be. I'm not right. intrigued by watching Kyler Murray run for his life. He's tiny. He is really, really small. I don't see a transcendent play. He's not going to be a guy that can stand in the pocket and throw the ball 35 times a game. I don't know if he'll be able to take contact. Him being small limits just how successful he's going to be. Everyone in that Arizona organization succeeds if he succeeds. Love you. with you all day. Thank you. Cardinals offense huddling on the sideline, and we will see what the 2019 Cardinals offense will look like. Let's get it rolling here, all right? Then we're on the ball. Let's work fast, work fast, be physical. And here comes Kyler Murray, the number one overall pick in the NFL draft, and the future of the franchise takes the field for the first time. Woo -woo, huh? Snap to Murray, back to throw, fires it deep near side, and it's overthrown and complete. Snap, Murray throws to the near side, and it's almost intercepted. Second and 10, Murray in trouble in the backfield. And he gets sacked by an offensive lineman. Snap to Murray, he will throw from three yards deep in his end zone. Now moving to the right, throws it deep near side. It is juggled and intercepted as the defender inbounds. Yes, he is. Murray made a huge mistake that time, just trying to throw the ball away, it looked like. Hey, you're good. Oh, You're good. We didn't pretend. Yeah, just throw yeah. it away. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was like spur of the moment. I knew I was just to throw it away. Hey, hey, that's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Let's go, LA. Woo -woo. They snap it and they fake it. Murray now throws deep, far side, and it's over the head of Christian Kirk. Incomplete. He was open. And another poor throw by Kyler Murray. Oh my goodness. We did not see Kyler Murray miss an open receiver that badly all of training camp. That's on me. And hey, where we go? Where we go? Look like some type of mix up with the snap count. Murray rolls left now in trouble, being chased on the far side. And now gets leveled and sacked. For Kyler Murray and company, this has to be a little bit humbling. Yeah, right now they look out of sorts. They got to get back to the basics. Incomplete in the end zone. That's the third batted ball by the Lions. The Cardinals offense sputters again. Kyler, Kyler. What do you think? What do you got? You're good. What do you think? Yeah, just keep, that's what we got to do. You pick one and we got to make plays, all right? We're going to the right spot. We just got to make plays, all right? They're getting tired now. You good? All right, keep going. Get you in a good Cardinals down 24 to nine. Can you put together a drive in four or five minutes? One big play could totally change the complexion of this game. Let's get it going right here, you know? That's how football goes. Ebbs and flows, let's get this going. All we gotta do is put one drive together and we're here. Whoa, whoa, what? Snap to Murray, short set, moves to his left. Now fires over the middle, it's caught for a first down at the 30 yard line by Keyshawn Johnson. That was a frozen rope by Murray. Threw that one as if he was angry. Snap to Kyler Murray, back to pass. Dancing around in the pocket, now throws a deep ball near side for Fitz. Diving attempt inside the 40-yard line, and he got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll tell you, he gets that ball in his hand. There's no doubt about it. He is explosive. Murray back to pass. Looking, throws it. Middle of the field for Johnson. Caught for a touchdown. Kyler Murray's first NFL touchdown. A beautiful throw to David Johnson. And the Cardinals are back in the game with 5.57 to play. What do you think? I think we just gotta play fast. I'm with you. All right. Hey, let's let's get this going right here. Get this going right here. No negative yards plays. No negative plays. We go forward, we'll be good. No negative plays. 
Let's go. Let's go. Cardinals down eight. Four down territory. Two, two, hot. Murray drops back and throws. Zips it to the near side. Caught in line territory at the 40-yard line by Bird. And he's tackled at the 36. Here no. we go. Clock is moving. 54 no. seconds and counting. Lions are trying to call timeout here to talk things over. It's amazing to think that the Cardinals have a shot here. Kyler Murray facing more adversity in this game than maybe he's ever had in a single game in his adult life. And he's fought through it to play incredibly well down the stretch. Hey, bro, let's go, let's keep going, let's go. Can he make two more plays, a touchdown and a two-point play? Oh, oh, hot. Shotgun snap, Murray rolls to the right, throws near side to Fitz, caught, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. And they're two points away from tying this thing with 43 seconds left. Let's go! One, one, huh! Shotgun snap, Murray back to pass. Throws to the left, it is caught by Kirk. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Some Murray magic down the stretch for Arizona. Never a doubt. Let's go win it. Let's go win it. Let's go win it. Let's go. Hey, all day. Way to keep fighting. All day. Nice shot. Hey, you having fun? Oh, yeah. Let's go win this, mother. We got win. Let's go win this. I, I seriously cannot believe that we're, we're, we're going overtime. I cannot even Just... believe it either, David. I'm right there with you. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's finish. Let's finish. Yes. Oh, we got 88. See, Kurt! We got 88 over here. Take the top off. One, one, huh? Murray back to throw. Blitz is picked up. Murray looking. Throws a deep ball left side for Fitz, who got turned around. Oh, he caught it, though! And the Cardinals in business. No, no, no! Hurry up, Q. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go! One, one, huh? Shotgun snap to Murray. A fade right side of the end zone for Keyshawn Johnson is overthrown. Ah, that's on me. That's on me. So now the Cardinals will bring on the field goal team, which means Detroit is going to get a possession. We are tied at 27. Man, what a game. This is a, this is a tie? Well, I mean, otherwise they get in there right here if we don't get it, you know what I mean? What'd you see on that? Oh my God! Hey, you're good. What'd you see on that? Oh. You can do it off this second half, bro. You can do it off this second half. The Cardinals and Lions finish in a tie. You fought your ass off. I can. I'm gonna call it a lot better, and you're gonna play a lot better. You got me? That's how you fight. Cause that was as bad as you've ever been a part of. You got me? Listen, you're gonna have a hard time stopping us. All right? Way to fight. What changed for this offense and what changed for you from the first three quarters to the fourth and overtime? Uh, I try to stick with the same mindset all game. It was, it was pretty ugly at first, but um, you know, you just got to stay the course. Uh, it's a long game, so I'm proud of the way we fought. And uh, you know, unfortunately, we really couldn't get the win, but tie's better than a loss, I guess. What's a tie feel like? I don't know. Is it weird? I have, I have never tied before, so uh, it's better than a loss. That's all I can say. I thought for sure you were walking that shit off, bro. I agree. Bro, we should have won the game. Yeah. You did it, though. You did it. No, you brought them back. Oh my gosh. Yes. Somebody sprinkled fairy dust Get on off. Kyler Murray. Should have won the game. Because he went 16 to 21 Kid for 154 good. yards good. and two touchdowns. And you know what? It felt like a star was born. I think every rookie probably does it uh, or thinks about it. You know, how, how good can I be in the NFL? I dominated the college level, I dominated high school, I dominated Pee Wee. You know, I'm as confident in myself as anybody, but it's just, you know, a thought. So I think that, if anything, was kind of probably the only question I had. And then coming into it and then actually being in the game, playing in the game, getting better each and every week. We're going to have everything, all right? We'll get, we'll get the one-on-ones going. We'll get this thing going. We're close. Uh, another area was the zone read, just the speed of the game, getting accustomed to the reads in the run game as well. So here, here's the Giants game. We had a chance to seal this with a touchdown, two minutes left. Don't want to have to kick a field goal. 
first and 10, bring the motion. That defensive end crashes. Should have probably been a pull read, had two guys leading. Kyler would have walked into the end zone, sealed the game. Instead, we handed it off um, and get a, a, a no gain, end up having to kick a field goal, give them the ball back with a chance to win the game. We come back later on, the Cleveland game. Same play, same action for the most part. The end squeezes, Kyler makes the proper read, feels comfortable with it. Just a certain comfort level to these type plays, the speed of the game, things of that nature. 40 yard gain in the run game. The zone read. Oh, you don't think he'll pull it down? Watch this. The game slowed down for him tremendously and, and was playing at a very high level late in the year. Hey, bro, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's go. I was shifting the fifth on right? You know, I was comfortable, way more comfortable in a lot of ways. Just understanding the offense, understanding, you know, what he's looking for or what coach is looking for, what the guys, you know, what the guys are looking for, how they feel about certain stuff. So if you just throw it up with air and then I'll, I'll locate it. Like, because he's going to, all he can do is just collision me. Once he's going to try to hold me. If he holds you, though, like, I'm going to put it on your body. Or do you want, you want me, you want me to put it on air? 225 pounds, such an easy throw. He's not going to be able to hold me. That's one, that's one thing. I know, I, I never play I'm, with you. I'm going to get him off me. All right, all right. Bet. The natural growth of seeing the field, you know, when you're out there taking reps every day, um, you know, you can't, it's, it's really priceless. So for me, just being out there, getting game reps against some of the best defenses in the league, um, you know, I think just helped me out um, tremendously. Hey, he played me hella far inside. That early, corner's early, not going to get there early. fast enough. I think you know, the area that I, I've seen Kyler grow the most is just his poise and, you know, ability to sit in the pocket and, you know, just go through, you know, his progressions and, you know, deliver the ball. What a big time throw by Kyler Murray to Christian Kirk right there. His accuracy has never been a question. You know, his arm talent has never been a question. You know, we all know he can run, uh, but it's always the mental part of the game that is usually you know, some type of a hump, you know, for rookie quarterbacks. And, you know, he's been able to, you know, deal with adversity, but he's, he's definitely kept a positive mindset and his approach has always been the same. K1, dare to be special, dare to be special. If you watch Kyler's film uh, from week one to about week 10, uh, it's almost like two different players, you know? And I'm not talking about his abilities. You know, everyone knows he's a great passer. Uh, he runs the ball very well. But I'm talking about his game management, um, getting guys in the huddle, just understanding not football, but professional football better. Uh, that's one thing that I admire about him. He grew fast. K1, now you can change the music. Hey, I told you. Once you get a rushing touchdown, you can change the music now. Now if you tell me to put on a song, I got you. Okay, Chad. Get ourselves going. Let's get it going today. Game week. Let's get after it. Fitz. I'm mic'd up, by the way. <laughs> get this thing going. Look at this. Game week. We got the fresh grass. Let's go. Surf. Let's get right. Let's get right. Hey, G. Let's get right. Hey. Hey, 580, you don't want it. Watch the teamwork. Watch the teamwork. Everybody on their job, watch the teamwork. Everybody else so hard, my teamwork. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. One more. Watch out. <laughs> Here we go, walk through. This is Swag. Thing, One time for the cam. Mic'd up today. Yeah. This is at compression. Keep the hammies warm. Yes, sir. Need some five content. They need five content, they come to me. <laughs> I feel like I got underwear on. <laughs> you kind of noticed, uh, you know, coming back on Monday, uh, the building was just, you know, it, it wasn't like it was the past four weeks. Understanding that we got to win, pushing in the right direction. Um, you know, we just, like I said, we cleaned things up. Uh, we played better, but at the same time, you know, you can't really dwell on it because we got another game this weekend. I think every each week, I mean, I feel like I've played better and better. Uh, you know, I don't know, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying, we, we got to win this week, so it's good. This is going to be what we believe a point uh, explosion. Kyler Murray, I'm going 260, two touchdowns, 60 rush yards, and a rushing touchdown. If they can't put the clamps on this Arizona offense, you could see Kyler Murray and company win their second straight game. Today at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, the Cardinals welcome Atlanta Falcons. While they wear their black uniforms and mourn the loss of owner Bill Bidwell, Let's get it. Yeah, baby. Kyler Murray coming off his first win as an NFL quarterback will take over. Two, two. 
Shotgun snap, back to pass goes Murray, throws a deep ball far side, and a catch is made. Sherfield caught it, ruled a catch, 36-yard gain. Whoa, whoa. Snap to Murray, fakes the run in trouble, rolling in the backfield, spinning to his right, now throwing it deep over the middle, caught by Larry Fitzgerald for a first down. What a job by Kyler Murray to spin away twice from defenders and make the throw downfield. So gifted athletically. Oh. Shotgun snap to Murray, fakes the run, rolls to the right, looking downfield, airing it out. Middle of the field for Bird, caught at the 10, at the 5, and wrapped up around the one yard line. The ball comes out, but they rule that Bird is down at the one, but another incredible throw down the field by number one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Snap to Murray, back to throw, dumps it off to the left side to Edmonds, caught at the five, dives for the end zone, he's in, touchdown Let's go! Arizona. Let's go! Chase! You like your one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. That's perfect. If you're doing your job, dude. That's what I like to talk about. See if the Falcons have an answer. Snap to Murray, rolls right. Now looking back to the left, lobs it for Williams, caught at the 10 to the five, and Williams is in, touchdown. So the Cardinals extend their lead to 26 to 10. I know I lost a step, but that right there, hey, Master Davis, hey, he could. <laughs> His offense humming right now. Snap to Murray, drops back to throw, floats it far side into the end zone, and a diving catch by David Johnson for a touchdown. Beautiful grab, and the Cardinals have the lead back. Let's go, DJ! Let's go! That was a terrible ball. Yeah, right. That was a terrible nice ball. Nice throw. Let's go, one first down, let's go. Third down and five on the Cardinal 30. Murray takes play action. He's rolling right, and he's looking to run. He's on the near side, and he's close to the first down as he stepped out. It looks like enough to move the chains and win the game with a minute 38 to go. Way to go, my boy. Way to go. Way to go, Kyle. That's a good night. Played your ass off, brother. Appreciate it. Y'all blocked y'all's ass off. You kind of made it a little harder for you than it was supposed to be. No, we went to work today. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. They've won two in a row. Kyler Murray, their young quarterback, has been the big reason why. Play him, man. Yes, sir. Good luck the rest of the way, okay? Have a great year so far. Appreciate it. Go, man. Proud Appreciate of you. it. Last question for Kyler Murray. Week one to now week six. How much more comfortable are you? A lot. A lot more comfortable. <laughs> it looks it. It looks Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. There you go. Kyler Murray, guys. Hey. Back to you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thank you. you. Good work. Talk about Kyler's calm, coolness there the whole game, really, when he needs had to keep it real. He, that's who he is. You know, it's hard to rattle him. Um, he comes over and I, after a touchdown, and I kind of want to see him smile, and he's just like, okay, here we go again. Um, so that's who he is, and, and I think his teammates feel that, that he's going to be the same guy. I think where he's grown the most is with his teammates. You know, he was kind of a a bit of a loner when he got here, you know, to stay to himself. And as he started to get more comfortable, you know, he started, you know, sitting down to eat lunch and breakfast with guys and, you know, opening dialogue with, with guys in the locker room and start to develop those real relationships. It's funny just seeing him kind of open up. I think with Kyler, he was always, he was always going to do what he was supposed to do. He's always going to do his thing. He was always going to be that guy. I think with him, it was just about him opening up to us. Let's go. I need you. Let's go. I need you. Let's go. You got to think about it in a different way. It's like he spends one year here, spends one year there. It's, I'm sure he doesn't, he hadn't gotten used to fully giving himself to his guys yet. So to be able to be a part of that process and watch him open up and see how close he got with the guys and how much better of a communicator he became with us, you know? Once he started getting comfortable being here in a new environment around new people, Guys started to see what he's about and who he really is, and, and that's that's exciting moving forward. He's a competitive young man. He wants to be the best, and I think as that comfort level grows, you're going to see exactly what type of person and player he is. I don't think that everybody gets to see the, you know, the, uh, I don't say the real me, but, you know, y'all are really in the locker room every day or um, on the field with us every day, so it's a little different. <laughs> Oh, you like that? What you see is what you get. I mean, he's not going to be over the top rainbows and sunshine with you. Um, and, and I like that because that's how he carries himself. And he's very competent, and very competitive. And um, so I, I like where he's at. So I don't ever see him, you know.
you know, bringing me cupcakes on game day or anything like that. He said you're not the kind of guy that would bring him cupcakes, maybe like Pat P would, but, you know. I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> I think he's going to be who he is, and we'll continue our relationship. I lift my hands. I can't. I don't want to do it to you. No, no, I lift my hands, too. I lift my hands, too. Hey, I'm right there with you. Play action pass. Murray setting up. Throws a deep ball right side. Got a receiver. Kirk, touchdown. K1. K1. We're talking about young boy. You want so much from him because he's our franchise quarterback, but you forget he's 21. You know, you forget he's such a young kid, and it's like I, was, I wore those shoes. My first round is the guys. I always have a little bit more patting on the back because I, I, I wore those shoes. I know what it feels like. I know, you know, so I, I, it, it, for me, I, it, it was really cool to see him mature so fast in such a small amount of time. That's how you leave us, K1. Leaving college, you know, coming into like the real world, you know, it kind of get lonely if, you know, certain, certain times, certain people, you know, but um, I've had great, you know, a great team to lean on, my family, friends, uh, supporting cast, teammates, coaches. So it's, it's been pretty easy for me. Let's go, Fish. Let's go. He plays quarterback, so he needs to be um, a guy that can communicate with all of his teammates, be able to get on guys, love on guys, be able to have that respect and mutual respect. And um, I think as he continues to grow, that will grow, and he'll take the franchise to new heights when he does that. Yeah. I mean, middle field open. Like, if you got, if a dude's playing up, and he's like head up, then, then cross his face. But if it's a backer, you know, inside of you, Up. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I ain't mic'd up. Nah. Yeah, I am. I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. So they can talk about a timeline. Coach, on that, can he inside stem that? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, give him a, a little inside snap. And then at the top, I mean, you. Yeah. You want that? Yeah. yeah, run that again. Get yeah. The last two Heisman winners get together, and they are close friends. They support each other. Uh, it'll be fun to watch. This is one of those once every four year matchups we're going to see that I, I think we should appreciate when we see it because two special quarterbacks. And I think Kyler Murray has the chance to be the guy next year that we end up talking about all year long as the, you know, the guy who's revolutionized the game. Baker uh, tweeted you when you were first drafted about this game coming up. How much have you thought about this game? Does this game mean something to you, getting a chance to be on the same field as him? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while, so uh, looking forward to that. But at the same time, uh, it's kind of special just being able to, you know, be on the same field, opposing teams, and just uh, play against him is obviously uh, special. Knowing both quarterbacks like you do, what do you think that Oklahoma quarterback room was like in 2007? Probably pretty tense, yeah. Probably pretty tense. I can imagine if a ball touched the ground in practice, they were probably talking trash to each other. I mean, that's kind of how they – they both are, are perfectionists and expect to be great. And so um, that was probably a pretty fun room to be in. He said today about it's important for bragging rights between the two of you. Do you uh, agree with that? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. The roof is open. It is a beautiful day. Nothing but blue sky above the field here at State Farm Stadium. And Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray – the storylines are incredible. Back quarterback from Oklahoma, number one. Kyler Murray being introduced, getting a round of applause here as the offense takes the field here at State Farm Stadium. Right, let's go, let's go. From start to finish. Let's, do it, baby. let's go. Two, two. Shotgun set here on first down to the 26. Kyler back to throw and swing pass to the right to Drake. Caught at the 25 30, gets tripped up. That's a gain of nine. No stop, no stop, no stop. Let's run a Q, let's run a Q. Very encouraging start for the Cardinals. Now they got to punch it in. Maybe they will. Oh, oh. Murray takes the snap, throws to Fitz on the far flat. Caught at the 15, down to the 10. Oh, oh. Kyler Murray takes the snap, and he's going to run it left side and pitches it at the last second to Drake, who's into the end zone for the touchdown. Great job, buddy. 
Great job. Hey, all game. All game. All game. Let's go. Hey, don't let up. Hey, don't let up. One, one. A run of about 35 yards for Kyler Murray. Come on, man. let's go. Hey, I thought you were going to run tonight. I was about to, but I see he had the angle, bro. Yeah, hey, there's no point. I knew my only chance to score was to go back. Are you okay? I almost gave you a concussion after that one play. Come on, man. let's go. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. You did slap <laughs> at me, though. I hit your ass hard. You slap me. I get excited. I apologize. It's all good. And they got you as 5'10", they lied. 6'1". Starts up front, baby. Starts up front. Let's go. Man, is he fast. He got outside, and there was no way the Browns are going to bring him down backside. It'll be first and goal. Oh, what? Floats it right side, corner of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Dan Orko. Let's go. That's big time. Let's go. Let's go. That's baby Jay. Let's go. Hey, he went up and snagged him. I was like, oh my God. Big Dan. We call him Big Dan now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One more. The Cardinals keep it on the ground with Drake up the middle to the 25, down to the 17 yard line. Hey, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. This feels like it's over. Keep that going, let's go! And the way the Cardinals are running the ball here. One more. Second and one at the 17. They run Drake right side. 15, 10, 5, fourth touchdown for Kenyon Drake. And maybe put this game away. Victory, victory, let's go. Cardinals are going to get the win, 38-24. <laughs> you good, bro? Yeah, give me that. Yeah, you're going to have to do it. You're not going to it. No, you're going to have to do it. You got to eat this one. I still hate you. It's all good. I got bragging rights, bro. This kid right here is so special. He's a Why star. was he taken with the first pick in the draft right there? Is he better than Baker Mayfield? Only like three, four times better. He's ah. a special player, man. Yep. He's, if you watch him throw the football, it is special. Appreciate you, K1. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Can't wait to get this thing rolling. That's awesome for Kyler. I mean, he killed it. That was a great gift. Yeah, appreciate you, Great season. Yeah. Did you become more vocal as a leader as the season went on? Yeah, I think naturally just, um, you know, being around the guys more. Uh, gaining respect, uh, it just kind of comes natural to, you know, be more vocally, uh, you know, out there, you know, and, and speak to the guys more. Uh, let them know what you like, let them know what you're seeing. Hey, it's a reload. Don't move too much, don't do too much. Don't say too much, don't play too much. One more. Hey. Kyler, you know, leads in his own way. Uh, he's not the most vocal guy, but, you know, he definitely has times and, you know, there are areas during the game or in practice where he will speak up and use his voice. Hey, Bird! Stick that up in there! And then that yard. His teammates know he's going to go out there and he's going to play his tail off and he's going to sell out and do anything he can to help the team win. Uh, when you do that, guys respect you and, and they're willing to listen uh, when you're willing to talk. Kareem Hunt was running. Bro, beat him to the spot! Run full speed! He was jogging over there. No, y'all ended up y'all ended up out of bounds. Yeah, you could you could easily cut them off. I like to prove myself on the field before I come up to any of them and say anything that uh, you know I think is 
necessary uh, just because, you know, they wouldn't respect me if I were to come in having not done anything and then just try to tell them what to do. If you can hit it now and get 20, hit it now and get 20. It just comes with time. It, I think a great um, example of that is Patrick Mahomes. I was with Patrick at Texas Tech to see how he's developed each year. You, you watch, you know, the NFL films, the sound bites of him leading on the field. That wasn't always that way. And it, as you get comfortable in your system, as you get comfortable with your teammates, as you get comfortable in that role, that, that'll grow. And, and it's going to grow for Kyler. And, and the more he's around his guys, the more uh, he's the man during offseason and, and through training camp and through the season, you're going to see more of those things come out in him. See, Coach, you run that again? Just run it again. He when he speaks up, you know, people listen. And, uh, you know, he does have, you know, the confidence and the swagger to, to lead this team, you know, to be the quarterback, you know, for this organization. And he's a guy to follow. Well, we all know that the quarterback position is the most important position in all of football. It's the hardest position in all of sports. And if you have somebody who can lead your team like we do in Kyler, um, your franchise is set up for years. And the 2019 AP Offense Rookie of the Year is Kyler Murray. It's an honor to play this game and represent the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, I want to thank the Bidwell family, Steve Kime, Coach Kingsbury, for all your trust and support this season. Um, you know, I, I give my all to this game. I give my all to my teammates. Uh, and I understand that this is an individual award, but I wouldn't be standing up here right now for one for my teammates, everybody in the building that, you know, helped me out this season. Um, you know, to the Red Sea, I know this wasn't, um, you know, the season that we had hoped for. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of great moments, a lot of bad moments, but I want to say thank you for always being there for us. Um, to my family, you know, my parents, uh, my brother and sister back home. I know y'all watching. I just want to say I love you guys. Y'all you know, mean the world to me. Uh, lastly, uh, I got to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you and God bless. I do believe there's a sense of belief just because obviously not finishing the way we want, wanted to, but understanding that this is a process. As it got going and we, we felt like we knew who we were, we were able to do different things and, and I, I, I think guys understood what it could be. And that's why I'm so excited about next season is as we have a whole offseason together, we're not just installing things, we're, we're trying to get better at, at who we are. I think as that comfort level grows, you're going to see exactly what type of person and player he is. Knowing what I know now, I'm just excited to get back, ready to you know lead this team to the playoffs. There were a lot of criticism and some doubts about whether he'd be able to play, whether he'd be able to play all 16 games, and I think he answered that very well. You know, the itch to be the greatest, you know, kind of, it keeps me going. What he's done already, just in his short professional career, uh, bodes well for everything that we're going to be doing here for years. I know he's going to continue to work his tail off to to be better and better because uh, he's one of those people that is not complacent. He always is striving for better. I'm really excited to see his growth. It's so exciting to see, you know, Kyler do what he does. Murray dives for the touchdown. Yeah, K1, Kyler Murray. There's no doubt in anybody's mind that he has what it takes. It's going to be fun to see him grow, man, because he has everything that you want. He can take care of the football. Kyler Murray put it on him. He can make every single throw. Touchdown! He's elusive. 45-50, Murray's free at the 40. When he's a leader, there's no moment that is too big for him. Ah! I think his jump from year one, though, to year two is going to be incredible. Well, I'm a cool and calm guy, but you know, once they said, you know, Cardinals on the clock, uh, heart started racing. <laughs> and, uh, once I got that phone call, man, it was everything I dreamed of.